Everyone, this is uh, Phil Jutt, and he's our applications engineer. What I want to show you here on the machine is, is uh, right here, this uh, dovetail and gib slide. These are the same kinds of slides that you have on your Brown and Sharp machines. And the reason that's important, these machines have the rigidity on their cross slides that you can still run form tools. Now, you may not always want to. If your quantity is small, there's no point. But there are times that form tools can save you a lot of time. These machines are still capable of doing that. You try to put a form tool on a typical uh, curved coupling turret lathe, and the time you get very wide, you're going to get chatter. Uh, these are a little more substantial. OK, Phil, if you would uh, run a part cycle. Uh, this part cycle is actually programmed at uh, steel speeds and feeds. We've got brass in here, so we don't have to be changing tooling all the time for, uh, for the machine. So we're, we're, we'll see how that well this works through the glass. So this is the back cross slide and, and the uh, turret overlapping at once. And th there are various times when we can have two and three of these tools in the, uh, in the cut at once. Uh, in just a minute here, this will come over. And uh, there's that slide working in the back slide and the, uh, the drill here. The part that you saw that was in the, um, it's now working on the back spindle. Sorry, it's just very difficult for the camera to follow all that. Uh, this is now working on the back spindle while we've got cutting going on up here. Oh, there we go. You can, you can kind of see it there. Uh, that thing that you see spinning there is a polygon tool. Um, again, later we'll show you the parts here and you, you can kind of get an idea of what they're doing. Actually, I'll... Let me uh, grab a couple of these, and you can just kind of pass them around a little bit and uh, get an idea of what it's making there. This particular model has a turret mounted sub spindle, um, whereas this is a twin spindle model. So the back working is done in a different way. Uh, this is uh, now putting that hex on. And, and huh, it doesn't show up on there. That's all right. Uh, that's the sub spindle there. We're using it to pull out instead of using a bar loader. Uh, it's just holding on. This sub-spindle can synchronize uh, at, at any spindle speed the machine can run, so you don't have to drop it down to zero, or sometimes on some machines you have to drop it down to 50 or 100 RPMs. Uh, no need to do that for this machine.